Hey, good morning, everybody. This morning, I wanted to come out here and talk about the benefits of rabbit poop and how amazing it is for your garden. Uh, it has multiple benefits that I will cover with you, but it's something that you should probably look into to see uh, if you can obtain some. You can buy some online, but if you have a pet rabbit or if you have a local rabbit breeder that you can get in touch with, or even a friend that has a rabbit, I would suggest checking in to see if you can get some rabbit poop from your garden. One of the coolest things about rabbit poop is that it's uh, not as smelly as other types of uh, manure. It, um, it's you know just dry little pellets and it's kind of like little cocoa puffs. Dude, dude, what are you doing? Seriously? Cocoa puffs? But why are you wearing a bathrobe? It's here? like 80 degrees out of here. I'm trying to film. Can you uh, go? I just got up. <sighs> anyway, oh, my bad. Where was I? <laughs> oh, yeah. So cocoa puffs. Um, they're just little dry pellets. And here, I'll show you what some look like. So there's some little rabbit pellets right there. You see their little dry, uh, crunchy things. They don't really smell at all. There's no smell to them and they're easy to handle. They're not messy. And you can put them directly on your plants. You don't have to compost them first. Okay, actually I should probably change the wording there. You don't put them on your plants. You put the pellets around your plants. But they don't have to be composted, unlike all other types of manure that you would use, like cow manure, horse manure, chicken manure. All right, so that's number one thing. Number two is that rabbit manure has four times more nutrients in it than cow or horse manure, and it's twice, or has twice the nutrients in it as chicken manure. So some of these minerals included is nitrogen, potassium, calcium, and there's also a bunch of trace elements in it, like zinc, boron, manganese, magnesium, um, and I don't know, there's, there's multiple others, but it has all kinds of stuff in it that your plants need to grow. Uh, another benefit is that it improves the soil structure. It can um, increase the microorganisms, the beneficial microorganisms that are in your soil, uh, as well as improve drainage and also worms love rabbit poop. So it's gonna draw more earthworms uh, to come up, which is then gonna aerate your soil and give your roots a better chance at uh, growing and, and surviving and, and pulling in all these other nutrients that are there uh, to help give you a healthier and happier plant. So really that's about it. Uh, I just wanted to pass that information along because I highly recommend you checking in to getting rabbit poop for your garden. Um, we have the benefit of having a uh, English Angora rabbit who provides us with a ton of, uh, of rabbit poop. And a ton is not really an exaggeration. Um, actually, one doe uh, and her offspring, now uh, that depends on how many babies she has, but one doe and her offspring can produce up to a ton of manure in a year. So our, our one little guy, Buford, um, he does probably about a quarter ton a year by himself. Um, we also use his used litter as well because it has, you know, the, his rabbit poop and his urine is mixed into the litter and then we just add that on. It's an organic, just uh, pellet litter that we use. Um, and so I have seen massive differences in what the plant growth is in my garden on beds that I have added the rabbit poop and litter versus the ones that I haven't. Uh, there's a definite benefit that you can see. So anyway, hope you find that information helpful. Hope that you try out some rabbit poop and hope everything is going well in your neck of the woods. Um, please subscribe to our channel and we hope to see you soon. Have a great day. Namaste.